Hi guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day as always. If you want to learn about this little guy, I just posted a video about him. It's our brand new little puppy. His name is Buster. And he's currently eight weeks old and he's an English Spring of Spaniel. And Biscuit is an American Cocker Spaniel, so he's an English Springer. He doesn't want to film for very long. So anyway, I was just coming on here to tell you guys that this is my makeup collection video. Finally, I've been promising it to you guys for so, so long. <laughs> See, he said that it took me so long to post it. Um, I have been oh, so slow about posting this for you guys. So anyway, I'm going to show you everything that's in those towers there. Um, not much. Oh, God, he's eating this shawl thing um not much of what's in those boxes down below that you can see behind me right there um and then i do have a vanity here that i sit at so i'm going to show you all of those areas that is my makeup collection oh and my nail polish so i'll do a quick little on that one and then if you want to see like a slower more in depth on my my nail polish collection i'm happy to show you guys that too but the much awaited and very requested. Uh, this is the person who most recently requested my makeup collection. So thank you again for reminding me and saying that you really, really wanted to see it. So here it is for everyone. I know I have too much stuff. I know I should get rid of stuff. I just, I don't want to. It's, it would make Busta so sad. So sad. I'm trying so hard not to call him Busta Rhymes too, by the way. Ah. I know, we're gonna go downstairs and play, okay? We're gonna go play. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my makeup collection. I hope you enjoy. Everyone has different sizes and styles of collections. This is just what I have over the years and what I've decided to keep. So, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. I put out new videos regularly and uh, yeah, we'll see you in my next video. Bye. All right, so as promised, here is part of my makeup setup. So over here I have my um, beauty vanity that I sit at when I get ready. Um, and up here I just have some brushes. I have my box that I use for my Project Tin Pan, Kleenex, there's a trash can right there. This is a tray that holds all the stuff that I tend to use on a daily basis and my beauty blender and my foundation and all of that jazz. Um, that holds all of my palettes. Behind there, that's a container with some extra brushes that I don't really use that often. Um, a close-up makeup mirror that has two sides and it's lighted. And then a larger actual mirror. And then I just have a basic um, like black chair that I use to sit in. So here's a little bit closer view of this. Nothing super fancy. Here's some uh, products over to the side that I really need to use or put away. But again, nothing super spectacular. And this right here is actually a total mess. So <laughs> stuff just kind of thrown in there, but I know where it is. Um, and then palettes and things like that over there. And this should actually be in here. The It's Judy Tone palette in my Project Tin Pan box. So that is an overview of the area where I sit. Oh, and there's a remote right there, which I use for my camera. So then this over here, so I have my makeup desk over here. If you scan this way, I have two windows. And then I have uh, my nail polish collection. So I have two separate nail polish racks. The top one is a metal rack that was provided to me by my sister. And the bottom one is a clear rack that I purchased. And I'll zoom a little bit closer so you all can see... Um, the types of nail polishes. There we go. Zoom a little closer so you can see the types of nail polishes. So if we start at the top, I have like top coats and base coats. And then I'm not going to name every brand because we would be here for a century. But you can kind of see. And then I like to sort of do rainbow order in each brand as I go down as much as possible. And I do have more nail polishes that are in a box, so not much more. I did do a good purge on those. So over here on this side of the room, so we have the nail polish rack over there, a closet, and then on this side of the room, we have this um, container. 
So I used to have an Alex 9 drawer, but where I live in South Carolina, it's not convenient for me to go and get a new one. So I moved from California to South Carolina and the nearest one is like two hours away and I'm not gonna drive and get it. So I actually found these containers at Michael's um, and they're just two towers. Um, and then I have it sitting on a cube down here that I used for storage. I actually at one point used this as like a dresser for clothing because I didn't have a dresser when I moved to South Carolina. Um, so now I just have these boxes that I purchased here and I put stuff in it and that's extra stuff, samples, things of that nature. Um, so you see this in the background when I am uh, filming videos. So I'll come in a little bit closer on the top. All right, so here is the top of my little makeup storage vanity area. Um, I have a whole bunch of different lipsticks here. I kind of sort of tried to organize them by brand, but it didn't necessarily work out that way. So, I mean, I've got um, Lime Crime, I've got MAC, um, some Chi Chi Cosmetics that are like slightly dusty right now, Tarte, um, these are some smaller sampling ones, L'Oreal, MAC Glosses, Sonia Kushak. Um, these are Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. And then back here I just have a plastic container that has three compartments that has glosses and stuff like that back there that I didn't necessarily put in my tower. I've got a big M. This mouse um, I had ever since I was a little kid and um, it just came here with all the rest of my stuff. So it's really old. Um, but I just thought it was cute, so I put it up there. A picture of Biscuit playing in some newspaper, um, a jewelry box, and it's got baseball cards in it. Um, those are from my grandpa, so they're really special to me. Um, a jewelry, two jewelry items I just got recently from um, Eric's family members, and this really cute little vase that literally I made from the dollar store. So here is the first drawer on this side, and it is all kinds of lipsticks. So I have another plastic container here that has these organized, which is why they are standing up so, so nicely. There we go. Um, so butter glosses, some other Revlons. This is pretty much all Revlon. There's like a couple other brands right there. I have this Stowaway Lipstick Trio I've never used. Oh, you hear the puppy, I need to go get him. Um, Mac, or I'm sorry, um, Elf lipsticks right there, Milani lipsticks, this was like a birthday thing from Sephora. Oh, and Elf lip exfoliators. Um, Wet n Wild lipsticks right there, some Essence, some NYX lipsticks back there, um, and these are like CoverGirl and Maybelline in here, some Kate Spade lipsticks, Alme, Rimmel, etc. Another little birthday thing back there, and some lip liners at the back. And I need to go get that puppy. Next drawer down, by the way, it's been like an hour and a half, and I went and took care of puppy. Um, so this is kind of like glosses and balms and things like that. Um, so I have some Milani glosses, some of them I haven't even opened. Um, Revlon glosses. NYX Butter Glosses, um, some Wet n Wild Glosses, some Lip Conditioning Balms, some Tarte Lip Surgeons Minis, Lip Glosses. Oh, I was looking for this color the other day. Yes. Okay. Um, and then I have, you know, like Kissable Balm kind of sticks, uh, OCC Lip Tars back there. The packaging for my Simpsons um, items. Um, more lip glosses. I have Wet n Wild back here, and I just wore these two the other day. Um, and then I have these Maybelline ones back here. And in the very back, I have some more of these uh, Milani Lip Intense Liquid Lipsticks. So that is what is in that drawer. Next drawer down is the eyeliners and mascaras and things that I have on hand. I have a couple more mascaras to put in here, but here's like little sampling things I need to use up. 
um, eyebrow stuff. This is a random eyeshadow palette. I don't know why I put that in here, but um, anyway, I got this thing on clearance a really long time ago and haven't used it, but I'll get to it. And I just finished one of those. I really liked it. So just assorted brow things, eye things, stuff like that. That is what is in this drawer. And there's too much variety in here for me to even remotely start picking out odds and ends. But that is that drawer. Next drawer down is the start of way too many eyeshadows. So in this drawer I have an absolute ton of these Wet n Wild uh, trio shadows. And I have even more like specialty limited edition ones in one of these boxes down here. Um, so, and the eight pan palettes are right there. My Max Cinderella palette. I went through a phase of using this a whole bunch shortly after it came out, but I haven't used it much since then. Oh, there's another Wet n Wild one. We'll just put that right in there. Um, just some assorted, oh, look, more Wet n Wild. Um, Alme ones, there's some Rimmel ones right there. Oh, the Canyon Classics by Physicians Formula, super classic palette. Um, I have some cream shadows over here and some naked pigments down there. Um, more cream shadow products, some, you know, really fun, pretty random one-of-a-kind shadows. This one is so super sparkly. It's kind of hard to tell. It's just really, it's fun to put as a little topper sometimes. Um, the Pulp Fiction palette, which I was given as a gift. And then the Great and Powerful Oz Urban Decay palette. I really love this palette. I just don't reach for it enough. I should totally just like set it up here because it's so pretty. So I'm gonna put it up on top. Maybe I'll reach for it more. Um, and again, more like cream shadows back there in an old birch box. Um, yeah, just lots of that stuff. I should probably really get rid of these things. They're not that amazing. I have two of them. Those are old school. Okay, on to the next drawer. And the last drawer in this tower before we go on to the next one is again, more shadows. And these are all like mostly single shadows, not really um, palettes per se. There are a couple palettes in here, but not a lot. Um, the NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette is, here we go, back it up a little bit. NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette. Here we go, we have the NYX Butt a Naked Eyes palette, a Blush Nudes palette, a Milani palette. Um, more naked pigment. How come you aren't with your friends? Problem solved. Um, this is where I have like my color pop selection. Um, I have some fun like um, hip pigment shadows. This really old MAC shadow set. It's really fun colors. I used it for like a watermelon eye look back in the day. Um, clearly I haven't reached for it very much, but I, this one's just like uh, pearl matte eyeshadow. I don't even know what collection this was from. It must have been from some kind of limited edition collection. However, um, I got it at a like makeup discount store. Um, I forget what they call those right now. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I got it there, and I don't know, I just had a really good day when I got this, and it was a nice treat to myself, and I just, I can't bear to get rid of it, so. Um, little Mira Ness shadows, this one's looking well-loved, started digging in that one. Um, Stila shadow that I never even really dug into. Ebony. Okay, so funny story. I got this like single packet of Stila eyeshadow in my very first birch box. And they sent it like as a sample, kind of. Like it's not in a container. So it's just like this loose shadow and it's black. And I've never really like put it in a palette or anything. But again, I just can't bear to get rid of it. So I still have it. Some dollar store eyeshadows back here. <clears throat> 
Um, a couple more color tattoos. Um, over here I have some more oldies but goodies, Smashbox cosmetic things. These were some stuff that I had even before I really started, um, like, I mean way before I started my YouTube channel. I should probably make an effort to try and pan these because they're still fine. They work great. They're still buttery and creamy. This is a lip gloss in it, which I don't use, but I do like those shades. So, um, yeah, and then I have some shadow sticks back here. And, you know, if I'm feeling festive, there's like really neat glitters. Um, I have a couple different varieties in there, so um, that is it for just like sort of random loose eyeshadows. And most of my palettes that I really love are over on my desk. I have a couple random ones in these boxes down here. Next up is this top drawer here, and this has just all kinds of false lashes in it. Here we go. And I also have more brush heads for my... I think that's really funny that my lash glue is stuck to it. Um, I have more brush heads for my Clarisonic up here, which I just started using again. Some lash strip adhesives. Um, I have these lashes that I got online, just random cheapy ones. I have this lash gadget that I've never tested out from Diaso that I got. Um, I have Kiss lashes. I have tons of Elf lashes. I have Red Cherry lashes. So just a drawer full of lashes, which I mostly wear for special events or filming. So next drawer down below the... Uh, eyeshadows is probably my favorite drawer of all of the drawers, I'm going to be honest, and that is blush. So, I mean, you can see that my screen name is The Blush Beauty. I chose that name because I thought it was fun, my channel was going to be beauty oriented, and my favorite item um, of makeup is blush. And this is more blush in here than I could ever put on my cheeks in a lifetime, and I know that, but... I love them. Some fun blushes. Uh, I have some Milani baked blushes here, and this one I haven't even opened. It's super um, pretty. I was given, I think my friend Miley gave me this one. I can't remember. Delicioso Pink. This one is Luminoso. I used this one religiously for a while. Kind of started to wear off the stuff there, but these things take forever to use. Um, Rose Dioro, which is another one. Uh, I have some MAC blushes here. This one is Dolly Mix. This one's a really famous one. It's a gorgeous color of pink. Super vibrant. It doesn't even look it like on camera right now, but it's very vibrant. Um, and then I have one from the... Um, I can't even remember what the name of the collection is. We'll call it the Splash Collection, where it's got that packaging that looks like it's wet. Oh, it's an extra dimension blush in See Me, Hear Me, and I do love this blush. I, I need to get these things out more and rotate them in my collection, but um, yes, hello, yes, so gorgeous. And again, it looks like it has the whole like water droplets on the package. I just love it. Love, love, love. Here is another fun one. This was from the Simpsons collection. And some of these, I just can't bear to part with the packaging just because I love it. Um, I was so looking forward to the Simpsons collection from Mac and the Cinderella collection just because they had relevance to my life and I loved it. And this has Marge on the front and this one is like a baby doll pink color. There we go. And it, and it has Marge imprinted on the front of it, which how can you hate that? I've hardly used this one as well, but I love it still. <laughs> Love the packaging, look with her blue hair sticking out. So, putting that one in there. And I know some people are like, why do you have things that you don't necessarily reach for all the time? And the answer is just because, like, some people collect trading cards, some people collect, um, you know, <laughs> I don't even know. Some people do, um, you know, planners, they're really addicted to that, and they collect stickers, or people collect sports memorabilia. This is kind of my sports memorabilia. Like each of these has a, you know, a really significant meaning. I enjoyed purchasing them. I got them from a subscription box. I was given them as a friend or they were just really awesome and unique. So the blushes for me in particular are stuff that I really love to hang on to and it's really hard for me to part with blushes. Um, these Milani Rose blushes. I have a couple of these in here. I don't, oh, here's another one. Um, so 
Romantic Rose and Tea Rose. I actually love both of these very much. Um, a Miraness blush, which, you know, it's been showing a little bit of love too. Um, Hot Mama blush. I have used quite a bit of that. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Quite a bit of that. Look at that dent. Yeah, it's a really pretty color. I have some Physicians Formula down here. This, um, New formula, Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne. Haven't even tried this one yet. Um, I loved this Sweetheart blush for so long. And this um, like blurring blush is so awesome. I can't, I don't even know what it's called anymore, but the point is, oh, it was an airbrush blush. So that's what it was. Um, it's got the horrendous little brush underneath, but this is a gorgeous blush. It's not too over the top and it does give kind of that blurring effect. Um. The Too Faced Heart Box. I got this um, when it was on one of those like 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta a couple years ago and I really loved it. I have these BH Cosmetics Blush Duos. This one's in Lilac, pretty sure. Yeah, Lilac and then this one is Rose. Really beautiful. One thing I'm not the biggest fan of is cream blushes, so I don't have that many blushes in here that are cream blushes, um, but I do have a couple. I have NYX, Maybelline blushes. I freaking loved these. These right here, this was like a limited edition one in Pressworthy Pink. Oh, I mean, you can see how much I've just like gone to town on this one. Um, I didn't use this one as much. Um, this Physician's Formula Blush. This was like a, what did they call this kind? Nude Wear Blush. Made a pretty good dent in that. You can see I almost hit pan in the middle. Um, I have a ton of these, um, you know, Tarte blushes. I usually get the limited edition packaging because, or the like gift packaging, because then you get a whole bunch of blushes for your money. Um, PH Matchmaker blush. I actually do like this as well. Uh, Miraness blush. Look how gorgeous that is. And the packaging is beautiful too. A Tarte, um, is it blush? I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Duo of like blush and bronzer. I mostly used it for the blush. That's why it's in the blush drawer. Hervano, hello. Okay, wait, it's this one. Ready, ready? Oh, look at it, not good. I do wanna finish it though, but I I love that blush. Maybe I'll set that out. Um, I have these Australis Paparazzi blushes, which I do really love as well. Um, a ton of e.l.f. blushes, essence blushes. These are like cream blushes over here and they're like some old school powder blushes that I used to use a ton. Oh, and I have a couple cream blushes back there. So anyway, that is the blush drawer. Again, probably spent more time on that because it is my favorite drawer. Okay, next up is the bronzer highlighter drawer. So I try to keep bronzers on this side and I try to keep highlighters on that side. Sometimes they co-mingle. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know, like to hang out with each other a little bit. So yeah, sometimes they get a little mixed up, but overall they stay on their respective sides. So, you know, Too Faced, um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Deep Matte Bronzer. Ugh, smells so good. I did some serious damage on a sample of this and then I bought the full size. And then my friend Miley actually sent me some of the, here we go, like a set of these smaller ones again, which was so thoughtful of her. Um, so I have a set of those as well. Benefit Hula with my name on it. Yeah. Love that. Um, I have a Paparazzi Perfect by Australis. I don't think they make these anymore, but there's a really gorgeous bronzer from them. Um, let's see. Some ones that I really love. Let's see. <laughs> this is a contour kit that I just got from Lena in a swap, and I haven't tried it yet, but it's really fantastic looking, right? Um, okay, so I used to use this one a long time ago before I did YouTube. I've had a couple of these. These are the Rimmel Sundance Natural Bronzer, um, and it is kind of shimmery. 
Um, but it doesn't really come off that way on the face. And I mean, you could tell I've like worn the packaging off the top. I did love this quite a bit. One of the originals from YouTube. Everyone has to have an NYC Sunny Bronzer. I haven't used this in a while, but I did use the crap out of it and it doesn't look like it. Oh yes, this um, Bourgeois Paris um, bronzer that my friend Hannah um, gave me here. She's a little Miss Artsy here on YouTube. We did this in a swap. And I used this a ton as well. It's kind of hard to tell. I got like a hard pan right there kind of thing going on, but I did use this a ton. Love it. Uh, over here on this side, I do have the MSF. Um, this one is in Soft and Gentle. I also have one, um, another one, let me see. So there's that one, Soft and Gentle. I have Light Scapade as well, that's what I have. I don't see it in here. I don't know why, it must be over on my vanity. I have this one as well, and that is in Lust. I'm not as big of a fan of it. It is quite blushy toned, but anyway, it's in there. This was my ultimate favorite highlighter for so long, and Revlon doesn't make it anymore. It is the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder in uh, number 10, Brighton, and it was sort of a baked product, and it's got this pinky undertone. It just gives such a beautiful highlight. Um, I absolutely love this stuff, but they don't make it anymore, and this thing, you know, it's practically full. Eh, doesn't look like it, but I've used it so much. Um, I have two Cinderella products in here by MAC. One is, I mean, these are both blushes, but this was listed as Mystery Princess Beauty Powder. It's a highlightery kind of thing going on. Um, and then this one is a blush also. It's Coupe de Chic. It's just kind of listed as an iridescent powder as well, but it is very pinkish and very shimmery. Um... And then I have some Benefit High Beam in here, um, some squeezy tubes of things, both from like Elf and NYX and some stuff that was sent to me in boxes and bags. Cindy Luminizer, Mary Luminizer, both of which I actually have the, uh, no, Mary Luminizer I have the full size of, and I don't know where it is, but I know that I've broken two of them, so there's that. Um, but the sample ones are fine. Okay. Next up is this drawer, and this is kind of a catch-all sort of thing. It's got some powder in it over here, Instant Age Rewind, Dream Matte. I mean, I don't really use a ton of powder. I do really like this. This is the um, Matte Ever Color Poreless Face Defender by Mally, and it looks gross because the thing is underneath, but it's really fine. So um, it's just sort of this clear thing that you put on your face to help absorb oil. For some people it doesn't work so well, for me it does. I am a very dry skin person so it works great for me. Um, this is a really old compact. I mean really old. I should get rid of that. But uh, Elf Translucent Mattifying Powder. I have some brush cleaner back here. Some primer. Some uh, brush shaper things. Some eye cream back there. Uh, Elf Makeup Mist and Set, a daily moisturizer, some wipes, some more powders under here, including the knockoff version. This is the CoverGirl True Magic. This is the knockoff version of the Evercolor Face Defender. I don't like this as much. Um, what is this? Oh, Revlon Photo Ready. Uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. Hello. Yes, please. And back here I have a whole bunch of masks, and then under the masks I have concealers. So IT Cosmetics, a backup of my e.l.f. Um, matte thing, um, color correcting stuff, and some Lucas Paw Paw ointment. That is from Australia, from Hannah. The last drawer down here. Dum dum dum. This is an assortment of like foundations. Um, and BB creams and stuff like that, and I don't know why these masks are down here. Let's put them where they go. Uh, if I have makeup sponges or something, I just kind of throw them in here. Here's a Kabuki brush. But, uh, yeah, I have, you know, Kat Von D. I have this airbrush, Napoleon Boudoir Foundation Mist, 
Dream Wonder Foundation, Maybelline Fit Foundation, Napoleon Stroke of Genius. I really like this. I need to use this thing up. Elf Moisturizing Foundation Stick. I don't know if they make this anymore. Um, I have this Revlon Airbrush Ready Foundation. I got it on clearance for two bucks. I have not opened it. Um, Make Forever HD Foundation. Some uh, powder foundation from Tarte. And uh, there's some more of it. The uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation, which I haven't tried yet. It's still sealed shut. I need to use that so it doesn't dry out. Elf Mattifying Cream foundation. Velvet foundation. Organic wear. BB cream. I actually really like this BB cream. Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And then back here I have stored... Um, some makeup cleansing wipes. Oh, and I have these little baby beauty blending sponges. So that is that. And that is it. I forgot this right here, which is my... Oh, jeez. I forgot this right here, which is a really cute, cheeky, sweet spot. It's a tin from Benefit that my friend Lena sent me in a swap, and it just has a whole bunch of blushes and bronzers and stuff like that from Benefit in it, and a What's Up highlighter, and I just think it's so cute, so a lot of times I just have it sitting up there as well. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're all having a beautiful day as always. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so we can hang out some more. I put out new videos all the time. And if you're already a subscriber and you've watched all the way to the end, you are a rock star. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye!